my name's Sam. Let's get to work on some art. Today we're working from this photo of the Brecon Beacons. Should be up here. Uh, it's by viewer Rath Black. He doesn't want a link, so let's get straight on with it. So the aim with this piece is to make it unrealistically colourful. So we boosted the saturation levels to make it kind of crazily overly saturated and really very colourful. I don't know if this will work. Maybe it will. Let's find out. We've already got the basic colours on the canvas, so we've just got a starting point to work from. We're going to sort of line it up and get some general ideas of where everything's going to be before we get on with the painting. At this stage, we're just kind of working out where everything's going to be. We're just putting out some lines and getting the general idea of where the painting is going to be in the future. Not really, not really going into any detail. That's that's maybe for later. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, but right now, we're just going to get the lines onto the canvas and get the general idea of what's going on. We're just using the uh, reference photograph as a as a general guide. But we're not being too fiddly. This painting has a kind of structure to it that doesn't really require absolute accuracy. We're just getting an impression of the, of the pitch. We're using it as a as a jumping off point rather than a, an accurate copy. Okay, so now we've got the general idea as to where the trees are. We put them onto the canvas. Then we're gonna put the canopy of the leaves of the trees into the rest of the painting and get some more detail and movement happening just to get some interest onto the canvas, really. Okay, so we got the basic trees in. Uh, we added in a little bit of blue into the uh, into the tree line because that's where the light's going to come through. And I just want there to be sort of a little bit of blue, just a just a zing as the light comes through those trees. The next part of the painting, we're going to be using a much smaller brush, and uh, we're going to do some what kind of represent detail, but we're still not going to do detail because this painting is just about excitement and passion and getting real lot of energy into it okay So we've added a little extra detail in and the next stage is to put some light coming in between the trees. Notice that while we're putting in this light, we're kind of making slightly abstract shapes to uh, signify ideas of branches possibly and foliage in the background. So we 
it's not all about just blue sky coming through all of the branches. Sometimes there's going to be a bit of brown, sometimes there's going to be a bit of green. So this next part, what we're going to do is use a larger brush. There's more translucent, so it lets some of the paint from below come through. We're going to use this to make it appear that there's light pouring out between the trees. Kind of give that kind of uh, explosion of light effect. Back to a smaller brush again for the hyper hyper detail. Still keeping it really very loose and scrappy. Maybe add a few extra branches to the trees. Okay, now it's time to work on the foreground. We're gonna be using some scrappy, sort of crazy little lines rather than drawing every little pebble and stone. So we're gonna give sort of an interference pattern that makes your brain think you're looking at stones and, 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 and gravel. But this painting isn't about realism, it's about energy and passion. So we're gonna be using lots and lots of scribbly little lines to draw in and that will get the painting more active and energetic.
and now for some bright white just to make the painting really really pop. Okay, we're right onto the last leg. We're just going to put some extra detail in the foreground and then we're going to blur the painting with a dry palette knife. Thanks for watching my painting demonstration. If you liked it, please give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and if you've got any comments, please make them below. Thanks. Goodbye.